Hey there, Sandrockers LMG here, and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. As Sandrock turns, actually the second day of a sandstorm in a row, and I think I know that's leading up to, but it's one of the few times you'll ever see this happen. All right, well, let's get, uh, it looks like, well, I'm going to see if uh, Magic Mirror's going to pick that up. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to take their work. What we have today, I could definitely get that for Cooper. That for Cooper as well. I don't have any petrified sticks. Did I ever make some? No, I didn't. Canvas is... I would have to go work on that. Petrified chestnut. Ah, uh, you know, I think I'm good on all that, really. I need money, but not that bad. Magic Mirror, are you here? Oh. Oh, no. Magic Mirror, do you have your own place? You could live with... Weird. Hi. What do we got? Letter from Jane. Everyone is so friendly. Bill's coming to my classroom for a chat. Okay. I shall wait with you with breathless anticipation. Really? Wow. Okay. Well, not me say no. Well, let's get our... Well, yeah, I'm gonna take Merle out. That's pretty bad out, but I, I really don't want to walk. And... Hey, was uh, out and about and wanted to let you know. Andy's feeling a bit under the weather. Okay. Nothing serious, but well, as you know, he looks up to you. Reckon it'd mean a lot to him if you stopped in. Sure. Oh, thanks. It'll really brighten his day. Thank you, Invisible Logan. That's... Alright. I did start a fresh run for this, even though you know where I had the other run in early access that we finished. I did start a fresh run, so that's... That's another bug that's still there. Alright. But it does happen. At least we could talk to him, I guess. Rip I Cooper. Cooper. Hey. Thank you. What do you mean the other folks say about me? What? Alright. Wow. Mabel, you got any recipes? I know I've been slacking off in the recipe department. Or I could teach you a recipe too, sure. Zero percent, so basically no real benefit to selling. Is that all the commissions though? Okay, uh... Go up and see Andy and then we have one at the... Okay, let's go see Andy first. Not a problem. Banana, orange, jelly. I need the yellow and orange kind. Aru, you came back and you brought the goods. Better share them. <laughs> hey. He's been going in and out of it. Uh, high fever. But could be worse. And you may have noticed the rambling, jelly, and donuts. Something about a gumshoe named Ned? Logan? Hey, kid. You awake? If you can hear me, tell me who that is over there. Oh, yeah. It's you. I got something for you. I was gonna bring it to you, but wouldn't you know, came down with the dang plague before I could take him over. <coughs> it's the Super Shield, Mark II, even more super. <coughs> no, no, Andy, you can keep that. And everything. Keep that far away from me. Huh? That's what this is about? 
I thought you needed cheering up. Nothing cheer me up more than a super shield. Come on, just look at it. I, I learned a lot since he's picking it for the shield. <laughs> Like I said, I learned a lot. You know, that uppity science feller. He knows a lot of stuff. So I think he was Even pushing himself a little too hard. He got sick. <coughs> all right, I believe him. Out of it. Then there's all the late nights I spent writing it, rewriting it. Kind of the last feller in town I'd ever see you taking after. Hey, wait a sec. Late nights? That's why you're sick, kid. What I say? Uh regret nothing for science <sighs> look just take the diagram home all right think on it i'll be better soon logan needs it for the outpost it'll absorb high impact blows made it with a space punch in mind based on that chip i stole it's like the anti-space punch you need it out there, pal. Uh-huh. Doing it all for me now, are you, pal? All right, all right. Your offer's been heard. It's time for you to get back to resting up. I'm gonna let our friend be on their way. You hear me? Okay. W wait! Huh? I wanna... <coughs> ask y'all... <sighs> Make it quick. Sounds like you're getting worse. I wanna ask y'all... How's I supposed to know if you two ain't gonna take a page out of horror's book and quit the gang? <sighs> Easy, pal. Who said anything about any of that? How's I supposed to know you two ain't gonna ditch me too? He ain't ditched us. We sent him up there on behalf of the gang. Next time we see him, he'll be twice the man you knew him as. Yeah. Sometimes the pack's got to split up, kid. Them's the breaks. One day, you might have to fly a solo mission yourself. But I won't let you out of my sight till you're good and ready. Now, that's a promise. All right, you promised. Have I ever let you down? Now, quit blubbering and get some shut-eye. Okay. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry your well-wishing got turned into a sales pitch. <laughs> Reckon I'll step off for a bit and see if I can't track down some of that jelly he's mumbling about. Oh, uh, what about that shield thing, huh? Didn't want to commit you to some fruitless endeavor. Can you actually make something out of those drawings? Uh, sure I can. Well, that'd be mighty swell. Just, uh, bring it on by if you manage to, uh, cook anything up. Hopefully, something like that would lift his spirits like I originally intended. Okay, then let's go see what Jane needs. Come on, bro. I think the tourists would be inside, but... Right over at MIT, Meehan's Institute of Telex. Very nice. And that, children, is why you should never feed noodles to a yakmal, no matter how much he begs you for them. Okay. Are the kids supposed to be there? You must be the builder. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Jane. It's lovely to finally meet you. I'm afraid you caught me rehearsing. I mean, practicing. The first day of school is just around the corner and there's so much to do to prepare. I was hoping you might help me get the classroom ready. First impressions matter, you know? This new building is wonderful, but the decoration is a bit on the traditional side. If you could bring me some things to spruce it up and make it my own, it might make everyone feel more at home and less nervous. Now, I'm just wondering, I'll have to double check. I'm just, that sounds a little bit like pity. 
if I'm really thinking about it right now. Let's listen in a little bit more. Probably not, but... The kids! I mean, not me. Of course, I'm not nervous. Not in the least. It, it's all about the children, right? <laughs> I mean, it... You do look kind of nervous. I guess I'm a bit of an open book, aren't I? I, I would swear it's her, but I could be wrong. All right. I am a little nervous. It's such an important job, and I want to be the best I can be. It feels like the matinee of a one-woman show. Well, I expected a few friends to come, but curtains have opened to a full house. I'm not as noticeable because we just had Penny so close. But I, but I can do this. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Yeah, I'll help. Oh, you're such a lifesaver. So here's a list of things I need to spruce up the school. After you make them, just bring them along and place them in the classroom. It's gonna be weird. I can't unknow that now. All right. And she teleports. All right. Okay, I can already make the shield. I need some tanned leather. Okay. Well, let's get back. I'm sure we can get some. Probably just haven't made bothered to make any. Check on an ad real quick. Just skip. We're good. Okay. Uh, let's see. And leather, I just need one. That is the jewelry machine. That will not help you. No, I think we just make it in the regular. Got it. Children's tent. Got it. Super shield. Weren't we making some? Tempered glass. I swear we were at one point, but I... Maybe I used it for something. Oh, quickly. Oh, because I needed quartz and we made quartz and then I forgot about it. That sounds about right. Uh, okay. Light oopsie on my part. We'll get some more stone going too. I could even go farm quartz if we really needed to. Lovely. 30 seconds on that. Might as well just get it all done now. Couple seconds. Okay, then let's get the Yakboard rocking chair. Hey, very good. Take a bit. I'm gonna go over to Logan's real quick and then we'll come back for that. And to Mary Katori, we are just waiting for Aloe to show up. That's a little bit farther along in the story. So not much more we can do on that end. Yeah, let's get this done real quick. Precisely, my dear. We need him alive. Hey, join the party. 
Old neighborhood got wind of the uh, Andy situation, and, well, see for yourself. This cabin is pretty heavy. Good to let me get it. Don't want you to pull a muscle. Let's push together. Ready? I like that we're recording in the hallway for some reason. <clears throat> I mean, they're a little further away, but it just seems odd audio wise. They uh, figured I had my hands full with Andy, offered to uh, do some chores. Somehow that turned into rearranging some furniture. They want me down here taking a break, but it's kind of turning into a hostage situation. Won't let me uh, help out with anything. Oh, you did end up making that shield? Oh, Andy will love that. He's uh, still resting upstairs, right where you left him. Okay, let's go see Andy then. Coop, you're making a mess. It's part of my process. I'm an artiste. Now, pass the pickle juice. This place was spotless before you came in, Coop. We can't leave it like this. He'll consider it an honor to have a legend like myself spill pickle juice in his kitchen. Yeah, that's what Coop. Cabinet looks much better. Yep. Fix that fourth leg there. Could have fallen and hurt somebody. Oh, especially with kids in the house. I'll poke around some more. See if there isn't anything else that needs a tune-up. How we doing, Trudy? All right, sounds good. Space jail was over for Evil Butler Kitty. Stay tuned for next time where we'll see Evil Butler Kitty attempt to re enter society and face the pains of attempting to understand a community that has all but forgotten he ever existed. Oh, hey, I came back. And is that the Super Shock Shield Mark II? Wow, you really did it, huh? This looks just like I saw it in my head. Hey, don't forget! I made up a whole story for you, too! Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, Jazz. Thanks, everybody. I didn't know so many people cared. Of course we care! You're a sand rocker, too, silly! How you holding up, kid? Did you say thanks for the shield? As a matter of fact, I, I did. Get with the times. Uh, never mind. Just check this bad boy out. I put this between you and the bad guys, and this shock absorber here will make a ton of bricks feel like a cool breeze. High praise for one of your own machinations. I'll test it out in some spars and see if I can use it in the field. <laughs> Thanks again for your help, too. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Every time we team up, it's just hit after hit after hit. I'll say, it feels lighter, springier, not unlike yourself, kid. Looks like you're really bouncing back. And did you uh, take your next dose yet? Last sip in the bottle. Bottoms up. Jasmine! Coming, Ma! Okay, everyone, time to go. Remember to avoid the pitfalls of organized crime, Andy. Don't be like evil butler, kitty. Uh, yeah. Sound advice. See ya when you feel better. I'll leave some books with you. So long as you promise not to write spoilers in the margins again. Oh, and here's the homework that you missed. Huh? Now, Logan, if you ain't come around to ask still how to invisible. make that gelatin, we'd have had no clue you had a sick kid on your hands. Don't be a stranger now. We all want to make amends from what all's happened in the past. Yeah. Here's to hoping things could go back to the way they used to be. Logan, you need anything from any of us. Just ask. That's right. Uh, send the boy on over to the ranch. We'll give him a lesson in shooting, riding, how to be a man and a half. Down at the ranch, we can give you the diligence and know-how that can move mountains, my boy. Yep. Listen close to your Uncle Coop. 
Reckon you could get a lesson in humility there, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> he never does. <laughs> well, shucks, y'all. I never held nothing against none of y'all. Things just got a bit sideways for a while. That's all. As for today, I'll make it up to all of you at the blue moon. No need. Neighbors help each other out. Now you enjoy your banana orange gelatin. We're all gonna get out of your hair. Oh, bless your heart. All right, let us know if you need anything else, Logan. Bye! Dang, how about that, huh? Looks like I do still have a home here after all. Think I'm gonna untidy some of the tidying decisions made by certain parties today, however. Catch you soon. All right, later. One thing I did notice, though, we'll see. Uh, let's go to social. Your own buddy Logan. He does have another costume. Is it? No, you can't wear. No, no, we're not, not, not that. Anything but that. That was accessories. Is it? Guess that's on the shoulder, sure. All right. And he's back, actually. Hey, looking. All right. Looking good, looking. So he just picks the outfit, easy fix. Okay. Let's go get the tempered glass from that and, and get Jane's request done. Shouldn't be too difficult. Really, no tempered glass yet? I, I'm just, of course, I almost get there, then you catch it. When we're all the way over there, though. What kind of magic is that? It got it done. Let's go, Merle. We got a job to do. And then we got another thing else going on with my call it a day. To press on with the content. Merle, don't wait up. And then I'm gonna use my super duper space laser to blast open the clouds. And well enough. And he's already back to normal. <laughs> All right. Peach, Peach, Peach. Who do you think you are? These clouds have covered our world for hundreds of years. Peach, you foolhardy, reckless young man. We need to go back to our caves and embrace the darkness. Yeah. Good job, Jasmine. Ahem. <clears throat> Many people questioned Peach's radical ideas, thinking he was bound to fail. But he persevered and aimed his machine at the sky and fired a massive burst of energy. Uh-uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna... Line? I'm going to break a hole in the sky and let the sun shine down on us. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I reckon I'm gonna break me a big old hole in that there sky and uh, let the sun shine on down on on us. Nailed it. Hasta la vista, Cloudy. Pacow! And against all odds, Peach achieved this miraculous feat and brought the light back into everyone's life. Teacher, I should be Peach. I did a way better job than Andy. He can't even remember his lines. No offense, Andy. <laughs> Feedback received. Well, you know, sometimes it's less about the words and more about the charisma. That X factor, that presence, that star power. It gets the people going. I'm talking pizzazz. Everyone gave an amazing performance today. Yes, Andy forgot his lines, but he brought life to the character. It was almost as if Peach was right in front of me. And of course, Jasmine and Little Pebbles were as wonderful as ever. Why were so many people against Peach? Wasn't he doing the right thing? I don't understand. 
Well, you have to understand the society at time. All right. I assume she's fitting in well. There's a chair. We got a little tent. Very nice. Yeah, it's looking okay. It's fabulous. Thank you. It's just how I imagined. I can see why Trudy said you're the best of the best. Right. Well, I need to get cracking planning my lessons. Oh, that reminds me. Is there somewhere we can rent books in Sandrock? A city hall, maybe? Could you show me the way there? It's for my lessons. I just did a little practice, but I feel like I'm missing something. I think if I dig through a couple of books, I'll find what I need. <laughs> you caught me. I was trying to think about how I can bring a little dramatics to my lessons. Like just before, I was trying to teach the digestive system of Yakmul. <sighs> See? <laughs> I'm boring myself already. I thought a little acting magic could grab the student's attention. I figured if I could really show them the pain a Yakmo feels while eating noodles, they'd really empathize. You know, back at college, I wrote a paper called Theater in Education, Methods for Engaging Edutainment. It even won an award. Yeah, let me take you really? there. Oh, you're the best. Let's go. I don't say that you haven't gotten your bill yet. <laughs> Okay, change ready to go. And just take her on over to City Hall. Jane, have a fair heights. We are. Just follow me, Jane. Live. I can't get in that way anyway, but it was worth a try. Education. Oh, look! Miss Jane, this is my favorite play. There is no joy like that of being loved by another and feeling that your presence is an addition to their happiness. The love between Miss Jane and Mr. Rock is so touching. I wish I could. Oh, hello. Are you here to borrow some books? Oh! Hey, I mean, hello, Mayor Trudy. Yes, we are. Wonderful. Well, just let me know which one you want to take out, and I'll make a note of it. This one, please. Fundamentals of Drama Education. Oh, I didn't realize you were so interested in acting, Jane. Maybe you'll want to have a little chat with Owen and our famous Kugo band. Sandrock's quite the walnut grove these days. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Sandrock was full of such creativity. Thank you so much, Mayor. Anyways, I've made a note of it now, so I'll let you get back to it. <sighs> ah. Is it just me, or do you also start to get really nervous when you see someone with authority? It's like I'm asking my professor to review my work. I know, I know. She's lovely. I really shouldn't be so nervous. I don't know. I'm not entirely confident. I was doing an internship at a school and the parents kept saying to just teach the stuff. They didn't really get my teaching style. Anyway, thanks for coming with me today. It's nice. You're the first real friend I've made in Sandrock so far. It's exciting to come to a new place. But it's also a little scary. I'm glad I met you, though. But I'll let you go now. Back to the book for me. Bye. Okay, and we are done. All right, easy peasy. Yeah, I don't think we have anything more on the roster today. But let's double check. I don't think I think I really need either. Oh, so, all right, Merle. Let's head on back. Eh, 
And you can take the night off. Put that out, ten. Yeah, let's get to bed. Oh, hey, we got a lot of loyalty. Myrtle's close now. Very nice. Okay, sunny day. Nice. Okay, there's a dedication ceremony. We should go do that. I'm just also curious calendar-wise. Okay, I will go to school first. All right. Hey, I've got some bad news. The sandstorm yesterday did a number on our test planning in the outback. I'm on my way over there right now. If you have time, come take a look as well. Maybe we can figure something out. Anyway, I'll see you there. Yeah, that's hence the reason there's two days of sandstorms. You don't see that anywhere else in the game. Uh, I'm gonna go over to the ceremony, though. I just wonder where Magic Mirror stays at night. I'm just, just all those little things. Well, Merle, we got a ceremony to get to. everyone thanks for coming out so early what an exciting day we're here to celebrate the opening of sandrock's brand new school thanks to the combined efforts of construction junction and our commerce guild our children will no longer lose at the starting line Ahem. during the relic rush sandrock was a bit more bustling than it is now at that time the city had a school and there were even plans for a university. But as the environment degraded and the sandstorms became more rampant. I do want to point out Crystal and Rianne, they could not care less. Crystal, she's just zoning out. She's like, oh, when is this kid going to grow up and get out of the house? More and more people moved away. When our last teacher, Miss Bliss, retired due to health reasons, no replacement wanted to come leaving an empty schoolhouse sitting there until a sandstorm finished the job. I remember the day Miss Bliss retired. We did our best to try to bring back a school to Sandrock, but budget and population reality always stood in the way. In the meantime, folks in our community stepped up. Vivi, Heidi, even church members taught our children where they could. In the end, I think we can all agree the children of Sandrock are our future. We need to give them the best darn school we could possibly build. And now, after all of our efforts, it's a reality. We get it's emotional wonderful. here. But a school is just a building if it doesn't have a teacher. So, let's all give a great big Sandrock welcome to Jane, our new school teacher. Would you like to say a few words, Jane? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you all for the warm welcome. I'm looking forward to working with your children and filling their minds with knowledge. I hope our time together will inspire in them a love of learning that extends throughout their lives. I can't wait to get started. We are super happy to have you here, Jane. Now, without further ado, as mayor of this lovely town, I hereby dedicate this school to the children of Sandrock. Jane will need some time to get her classroom set up and the curriculum planned. But school starts soon, so make sure our kids have all their school supplies ready. Have a truly great day, folks. Okay, very nice. Miss Jane, pleasure to finally meet you. I'm Heidi. Welcome to Sandrock. Oh, Heidi. Yes, a pleasure to meet you as well. You designed the school, did you not? 
I must say, my eyes lit up when I saw the design. You really went above and beyond. Oh, you saw the design before you came. I did. In fact, it sealed the deal for me when I saw your angular, decisive lines shaped and cradled such a cozy little den of learning. I started to hear the voices of children laughing and singing. It was a no-brainer. Huh, whoa. I never expected my design to make such an impact. Well, I'll try to continue to impress. Say, you know, I used to be something of a teacher here myself. Me and, uh, one other guy used to tutor the only kid in town. Is that so? How wonderful. So nice to be amongst like-minded individuals. Who is this other guy, exactly? Well, I must meet them at once. Ah, well, he's, uh, kind of going through some stuff right now. Oh, he's in prison. You can go see him. Huh. All right, Jane, we'll say hi to you today. My birthday is the 14th of summer. Supposedly, it meant something in the old world, but now it's just another day. Such is life, eh? It is. Yeah. And also, do you have a pencil on... Game, you were a little late on that. She's got a pencil on her shirt. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, what did you have in mind for the PTA, Danby? Yeah, I'm interested as well. Oh, ho, ho, look at this. This is my 10 point plan. We're gonna make sure the kids of Sandrock will have the best experience in school. Holiday parties? Spring trip? Radical Dreamer Society? That's right. We're also gonna need an officer and a bookkeeper. Who's interested? Gotta say, Dan Dan, when you roll, you really go all out. Maybe I can volunteer some of my time for this. And Rocky's as well. And I'll work with you on the lunch program. Uh, Miss Mian, I just had to say it again. Thank you so much for making all of this happen. Oh, to think... <laughs> ah, well, we all have our off days. Really, Mayor, you don't have to thank me. I'm just doing what I think is right and trying to make a difference. Like you. Right. Well, still, we need to also commemorate those who make a difference. To set an example to others and inspire them to do great things. That's why I've commissioned a small plaque to be placed at the door with your name on it. Oh, really don't. Please. Hmm, well, then you're going to hate this idea. Jane suggested we name the school after you. Mian's Institute of Telesis, or MIT for short. W what Institute? Technology? <laughs> yes, uh, perhaps a bit of a stretch for a city school. But this is the kind of imagination we need teaching our young ones about the world. Okay, all right, got that done. I think that's everything around the school. Looks like we might have another side quest as well. Over by Fang, all right, what does he got for us? Go check that out. I thought we did. Did he... I think he popped away. Alright, we'll, we'll go find him. Where'd he hit off to? Oh, actually, he's... He's out in the cemetery. Okay. Where is he exactly? Oh no, here he is. Alright, we got him. I have heard that friends often meet outside to eat, drink, and be merry. But I've never had the chance. I'm alright, buddy. I'll take you out. We go now? Oh, I can't help myself. 
I've eaten many sand dates. Not the first for me. Ah, this is another conversation class. I can accept you as my teacher. In any case, I must prepare. I will answer you tomorrow. Okay, sure enough. How's it going, Mort? You are still alive? Oh, well, if it isn't... I guess I did have a picture for you. This was Mason's first day as a builder here. One of the cheeriest folk you could have known. Back then, anyhow. Your friend reminded me of him. Mion. Always the first on the scene to lend a hand. And oh, I'd almost forgotten about those two. Email and Lou. That woman there with the glasses, and that fellow wearing a suit next to Theodore. They took over running the town at the height of the Relic Rush. Lou believed with development, Sandrock would figure out ways to overcome its environmental drawbacks. So he did everything he could to push for progress. Sadly, he was mistaken. With all those big machines coming in, along with more and more mouths to feed, the water dried up, and that was the end of it. In his later years, he tried to find a way to keep what was left afloat. But it was too late. He left office a broken man. Same thing happened to Email. For nearly 40 years they fought for this town. But we all have our limits, I suppose. Now, no one in this photo is here anymore. But we have new hope in this town now. We've learned from our past, learned from our mistakes. Sacrifices are sometimes necessary to make progress. Let us hope that the last of our sacrifices have been made. Thank you for finding this. I think there are only a few more. I must say I'm astounded at how fortunate we've been. I hardly expected to see any again. Let me know if any more turn up. And thank you. I think there's only one photo left, but you've done enough, really. Because of you, I've been able to see my life slowly flash before my eyes. Few have had such an opportunity. Okay, I guess to what I was really actually honestly totally forgot about that for a little bit, but all right. Okay, and then what's the other one then? Oh, something by the research center. Kind of good job, Merle. All right. Go see. Oh, Chi, please let it be that laser sword. Howdy. Andy, you're trying. Hmm. Okay, Kelly's threatening me to get you a birthday present. All right. That kid's got moxie. All right. So, so, so. Is there anything? I think we're just heading out to the desert. Okay. Not a problem. We're going to fast travel right over here. Set out. See what is going on. See what we can do to help. Game is looking uh, good as always. Oh, that, that is bad. <sighs> I had feared this, Trudy. But I don't know what's going on. For some reason, the roots aren't holding onto the soil. The algae isn't working very well. The water usage per tree is also way higher than what we had predicted. We've already used as much as we can spare from the portion water. 
If we keep going like this, it's not sustainable. Ah, you're here too. Oh, this sandstorm, it hit us hard. We're kind of at our wit's end here. Luckily, Irrigation Tower is still intact. But everything else... Trudy, uh, I think we're at the limit of what we can do alone. I heard that there's a agricultural expert in Highwind, Professor Lua. Maybe we can ask him to come to Sand Rock and work with us. Good idea. We can't just give up. I'll send a telegram to Highwind. He's pretty famous around Highwind, I hear. I wouldn't be surprised if you've heard of him. Hey, I hear the Builder's quite the celebrity in Highwind these days. Maybe a name drop in the invitation will up our chances of getting him to come? Well, I think there's nothing more we can do today. Let's clean up and head back. Builder, thanks for coming. I'll let you know if anything new comes up. We just our best. researched more. Yeah, that's, uh... That looks so good. Can I actually plan out here? No. Hello! Uh-huh. I don't think so. I don't know. We tried our best, Seek. You guys tried. Let's head back. And there's still something else going on. It is... Oh, I think it's the kids back at the... Okay, yeah. I think there's one conversation that I forgot to get. All right. Yeah, the kids were at the playground. I forgot to get that. Oh. Poor kids have been sitting there all day. Coming by. Hey, we're gonna have a new teacher! And finally, a real school! Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Look what my mom got me! This pencil says Monday on it, and this one says Tuesday. Oh, and you'll never believe what this one says. It says Wednesday! Yeah, Logan got me the same pencil pack. I told him to stuff it. I chew on one pencil at a time. Ain't got no time for guessing what the future holds. What's the matter, Andy? You don't seem excited. Didn't you see the class schedule? There's not anything you're looking forward to? Nah. Listen, if it was me running this thing, we'd be kicking the arithmetic to the curb and doing all combat classes. That's right, morning till night, learning to fight. Combat classes? You're... You're starting to sound like pet. What? Wh no, ain't like that. Me and that yellow-bellied snake in the grass got less in common than a frog and a tadpole. My classes would include protecting the weak, standing up to bullies, and hey, let's be real for a second, maybe a little bit of banditry. Oh, that kid's gonna wind up in prison sometime. Speaking of prison, I do want to check on Miguel. Now that I just thought about that. We haven't seen him in a while. It's been a week or two, probably. Oh, easy peasy. Oh, we need to get an ad too, don't we? Alright, let's grab that real quick. More XP. Eh, you know, that's fine. Just curious, he's still in jail. Hmm. All right. You enjoy. Price is only up five percent. Could get one of the later pieces. Well, that's level fifty anyway. We're not quite there yet. We'll check commissions. If nothing catches our eye, we'll call it a day. Hey. 
Thank you, Merle. Let's see what we got on the old board today. That's pretty easy money. Easy money. Uh, sizzle thread. Nah, I'm okay just doing a couple. Yeah, that's fine. Send about 70,000 now, not terrible. I do want to check this real quick because I know Magic Mirror just decides to. Uh, they just want to let it go to empty before they fill it. I just feel like that's not the best idea. Are you guys doing. And she doesn't feed you till you probably run out of house and chestnuts. I think we had about 20,000 on the other run, so it's just pile up rather quickly. Let's go turn these into chi and we'll call it a day. I think that's not a bad 3,000. That's not bad. Oh, Professor Lau coming back in the town. That does mean, uh... Nia might be coming back as well. Thank you. 1700, Thank lovely. You. Ah, a little over 3000, excellente. Everyone, yeah, I think we'll call it a day. I think the best bet of making some extra money is, you know, let's just wait for a high sell day and just, yeah, live by ear. How many scrap though? Ah, that's not a big deal. You back. All right, let's get to bed. Hey, but all right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will leave off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.